Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is March 31st, 2017, and the earthquake activity around the globe is steadily rising. And what we're looking at currently is the large coronal hole on the sun, and we have a rather large coronal hole opening up pretty close to the equator on the sun. And the corona is also weakening to the left area, which means, ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to be out of the woods for the intensification of the solar winds and the impact on the Earth. And we're just going to go ahead and get right into this information. Uh, this is an up-to-date live earthquake map. As you can see, it is absolutely very, very active. Earthquake activity magnitude-wise has increased substantially over the course of the last 72 hours. Let's just take a look at the state of California. As we zoom in, you can see a steady swarm along the San Andreas Fault. Uh, this earthquake just occurred, a magnitude 3.97. That is probably on the low end of the scale. We're looking at a 5.4 in Mexico, and we're gonna take a closer look at Mexico. Uh, we have earthquakes all in the magnitude high fours and the fives and literally just riddled across the globe. And this map is not showing you all of the activity for earthquakes around the globe. As far as volcanic activity, uh, this is up to date as of right now. What you're looking at here, each and every little red triangle that you see on this map is signifying an eruption. These are volcanoes that are currently erupting on our globe as we speak. Getting back to the earthquake activity, I just wanted to show you what the last 72 hours looks like on the west coast of Mexico. These are all considerable earthquakes. If you look over here to the left, magnitude 4.1, 5.3, 4.4, the list goes on and on and on and on in this region. Getting back to space weather, our solar winds, well, just like you expected, they have increased to 1.7 million miles per hour. Uh, you can see clearly on the magnetosphere Z-cut solar wind velocity. Once again, this area right in here should be a light blue or the darker blue color. You can see with the color scale over here to the right where my cursor is, you can see the steady impact of the solar winds on our planet. They are picking up in speed. And this is the actual chart that we're using. This is showing you the steady increase in the solar winds leading up to this report. They are buffeting the planet at 1.7 million miles per hour. I do expect this to probably increase over the next 24 hours. We are definitely not out of the woods yet. This is the Y-cut magnetosphere. Uh, this is showing a very, very increased amount of erratic activity with our magnetosphere once again. This area is being buffeted. It is in the green, but slightly yellow, which would put it at an elevated level. There's absolutely no doubt, folks, we are being severely affected by what is happening with our sun. Getting into the radiation levels impacting our planet. Now, don't be confused that this bright canary yellow color is good. This is actually bad. If we're looking at the color code key over here, we would naturally want to see ourselves in the light blue or the green. As you can see, we are in the elevated color of yellow, which is telling us that this radiation level has increased and it has once again enveloped our entire planet. We look for this to actually increase. You do see small streams of the darker shades of orange and red coming in and they're literally wrapping around our planet. This will increase as the time goes on. We have this other region over here to the left of the sun. You could already see the coronal holes opening up. I just issued a report on the reasons why we feel these coronal holes are opening up with this sudden frequency. Once again, if you have to be outside, try to limit your time outside. Ultraviolet rays, the index right now, once again, off the charts. It is, well, if the, if the charts were able to read over the level of 10, they would. So right now, our planet is being buffeted and under siege from what is occurring on our sun. My direct opinion, 
This is directly related to, uh, you know, Planet X, if you want to call it, Nemesis, the brown dwarf star. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no need to try and fool yourself anymore. We definitely have a major, major issue with what is going on within our inner solar system. Mark my words today. I don't care if you quote me, but mark my words today on March 31st of 2017. Within 30 days, we are going to see a rapid increase in the earthquake and volcanic activity on this planet. It is only by the grace of God right now that we have not had a catastrophic earthquake magnitude 7.5 to 8.5 and I feel that it is definitely coming let's hope and pray to God that it does not but what we're looking at as far as scientific proof and evidence it is on its way I do believe the entire month of April 2017 is going to be a very very active month as far as earthquake activity and we're going to have more of this climate chaos. I'm going to be doing a report later on today showing you the catastrophic global flooding around the world. And ladies and gentlemen, it is costing people their lives. This is Scott from Planet X News and the Nibiru channel. Thank you for watching. And ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, stay updated, stay informed. And stay tuned. If any of you are interested in prepping supplies, emergency food, and water, you can visit one of my associates, foodforliberty.com. Their link is in the description box under the video. Most importantly, make sure that you are subscribed to the Nibiru channel and Planet X News so you can stay updated and informed. And I would also like to thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel. Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet X News. This is Scott from the Nibiru channel. It is March 31st, 2017, and the earthquake activity around the globe is steadily rising. And what we're looking at currently is the large coronal hole on the sun, and we have a rather large coronal hole opening up pretty close to the equator on the sun. And the corona is also weakening to the left area, which means, ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to be out of the woods for the intensification of the solar winds and the impact on the earth. And we're just going to go ahead and get right into this information.